Brooks has finally released the next two iterations of its glycerin line, the GTS 19 and the 19. These are two of the softest rides that the company has produced. I've got the GTS 19 right here, and it's actually the plusher of the two. This shoe has Brooks's go-to support system, hence GTS, which makes it a bit heavier than the regular Glycerin 19, but it's well worth it because it's so plush and so comfortable. I personally dislike tight shoes, and while this gives you a nice snug fit, it's not claustrophobia inducing or anything to the foot, which I don't know about you, but I hate that feeling. If I put a shoe on and it's too tight, I, I can't even start the run. The shoe's mesh upper helps the foot breathe, which might not be super important right now when it's all snowy out and cold, but in a few months time when the temperatures rise and it gets hotter out, you're going to be really happy with this fit. My first run with them, I was kind of silly and I wore extra short socks and I didn't realize until I was already out the door. I was kind of worried that I would start to blister, which has happened to me with other shoes before, but I made it 10k without chafing at all. The midsole is where the GTS 19 is really going to win runners over. This is a neutral design, but it feels like you're running with so much more cushion than is actually there. Runners who have used Brooks shoes before will be familiar with DNA Loft, which is the company's cushioning material. That's featured in the GTS 19, but it's got more DNA Loft than any other shoe before it. That layer of DNA Loft goes right from the heel to the toe, so your foot is protected and there's no way that it's not going to be comfortable. Brooks developed this guide rail support system to help runners have a natural and ideal line with every step. While some shoes might accomplish this by locking the foot in place, this simply limits the movement, so it doesn't constrict you as much as some other shoes might. Finally, we've got the outsole, which, no complaints here, it's reliable, it's what you've gotten with so many Brooks shoes before because really, why change something that's working so well? I took this shoe on wet roads, on trails, on snow, and I felt in control the whole way. If you've used a Brooks shoe before, you know what you're getting with the outsole, and most of their updates to this model of the Glycerin have been dedicated to the midsole and the upper. Overall, this is an awesome shoe, and you will not regret giving it a try. But fair warning, if you do add this to your lineup, there's a great chance that it's gonna become your new favorite.